you may want to create different taxons or categories to categorize products in your e-commerce store. In this tutorial, we will show you how to build a parent of a specific taxon you want to implement at a later stage. First, go to the Taxons tab. You can see the dashboard for creating a taxon with all available options. Next, move on to the T-shirts category to create a parent. To do that, click on the three dots on the level of the specific category bar and choose Create to create a parent category. For this video, we will fill the code with Sport T-shirt. Let's give it an appropriate name. You can choose between different languages if you want to. Add media as the last step in this panel. As you can see, our taxon has been successfully created. Next, move to the newly made taxon, which is visible at the bottom left corner in the t-shirts category. Now, let's create a configurable product which we will show you in the following steps. First, click the create button to make your product. Fill in the code bar with the football t-shirt name. Don't forget to select channels and the available options. For this video, we picked t-shirt size and options matching as the method for variant selection. Now you can give your product a name, football t-shirt. Let's skip the SEO part for this video, select a different language if you want to, and create your product. Now, move on to the taxonomy bar to choose your central taxon, sport t-shirt. Then, select the appropriate categories listed below. Move to the Attributes panel to add new attributes like T-shirt brand and T-shirt collection. Then, name those attributes. In the next step, Go to the Associations tab and choose a similar product. Pick one to show your customers the opportunities for an extra order. Let's move on to the Media panel. Select photos from the stock to be able to present them at your storefront. The more pictures you use, the more substantial possibility of selling will appear. When you finish this part, go to the Manage Variants panel to create variants. Select the Create button to be forwarded to the appropriate board. Choose the name and the code of a variant you want to make. Set the prices for the channels you are using. Select your option, which in this case it will be size S, and click Create. Follow the same process to create different variants, for example, size M. After you finish these steps, click Save Positions. Your variants are successfully created. For the last part, go to the Products tab. Locate your newly created category and its taxon. Select the Edit option and check your product on your storefront. As you can see, 
everything has been added without any difficulties. Now your customers can conveniently purchase your products. In this part of the video, we will show you how to add subcategories in Cilius. Go to the Taxons tab, then click on the three dots next to the Men category to create a subcategory. For this video, we will create the long and short sleeve subcategories. First, enter long sleeve in the code field. Then fill in the name of the selected taxon and add a description. Finally, confirm the changes by clicking on the Create button. Now, let's focus on creating another subcategory called Short Sleeve. The process for creating the following subcategory is the same as the one we have implemented for long sleeve. In the next step, we will show you how the taxons we have created are presented in the shop front. First, go to the product tab on the left. Next, select any product, Click the Edit button, and click Show Product in Shop Page. Next, click on the T-Shirts category, and then click on Men to present newly created subcategories, Long Sleeve and Short Sleeve. As you can see, our created subcategories are now visible at the front store with all the details we provided in the Admin Panel. Cilius will allow you to switch positions of your categories and subcategories by simply clicking the three dots on the right side of your taxons. Click on them, then select the option you are interested in. Next, go back to your storefront to check if your changes have been implemented successfully. Of course, you can delete categories and subcategories as well. We will show you how to do that with a few simple steps.